In this video, I want to take a look at a plugin specifically for donations, but a special kind of donation form. It's called Donate Plus. And what it's going to allow you to do is actually show who has donated. And I think that's a really interesting idea for certain applications, of course. Not everybody's going to want to do that. We'll install it here. And then we'll activate. And you don't have to look for a settings page on here because it actually has its own section right on the menu here. This one here, Donate Plus, this actually will be the list of donors once that gets going. Okay, so it's a bit misleading the name here. The settings, of course, are under settings, so that's clear. And it's a fairly flexible plugin. Now, this is just for one type of donation. You can't have multiple donation buttons or pages on this site. It only does one campaign, so to speak. So if you need multiple donations, this isn't going to work for it. Okay, so we put in our address here for our PayPal account. It doesn't allow you to put in the merchant ID, unfortunately. So the address will be available and visible on your site. And that can be a consideration for spammers getting it and so on. You get to choose your currency here, a fair number of options for the most major currencies in the world. You can have a testing mode. If you have a PayPal developer account, you can use your sandbox here. But normally we're just going live with PayPal here. You can also enable debugging for IPN, which is instant payment notification with PayPal. You can get debugging results sent to you via email, which is handy. Donation description. Now, this is purely for PayPal purposes. When it goes to the PayPal site, this is what it's going to say under the listing for the payment. This is donation to whatever it's going to be. Now, the default donation value, you can put that in here, but the user is still going to be able to choose what amount they want. This is kind of like a suggested amount if you wanted. Lots of choices here for your button. I prefer, as always, the one that has the credit cards on it. It's a reminder that they don't have to have a PayPal account. If you have a custom image, you can put the URL in here. Now, this is interesting. Enabling recurring donations. The default, of course, is a one-time donation, so that's good. But apparently, some people might have recurring donations, which I've never really heard of, but it's doable anyway. Enable, and be very careful with this, by the way, because if people don't realize that this is going to be monthly off their credit card, it can be a real shock and you could get in some real trouble with that. So you've got to be very clear about this before you actually enable it. Now, here's the very interesting feature of this plugin, and that is the recognition wall, as it's called. And what the recognition wall does is it will list people who've made donations. Now, they can choose whether or not to be on the wall, so it's not a necessary thing. But if you enable this, they will have that option. And I'll show you some more when we actually implement the plugin on the page and in a widget. Now, the location here, you can decide whether to have it on the sidebar or on any of your pages. This will show a list of all pages that you've created. But if you choose a particular page, let's say Evaluation Services, then you'd have to make sure that you put the short code in there. And luckily, it gives you all the information for the short code here. Maximum number of donors on the wall. It's zero to show all of them. Now, when I say all of them, that's all of the people who have elected to be on the wall. If they choose not to be, they won't show. Here's a quick message that shows up on the website when someone makes a donation. So it's kind of an instant little message there for them. And then you can also have a thank you email that immediately goes out. This is totally separate from any PayPal notifications and so forth. This is something you set right here. The default return address, who it's from and so forth, the subject, and the message. And you can insert their name as well and how much they donated to thank them for that. So that's where you save your changes. And then down below, this is very nice. They give you the documentation right here the short codes you need, and an explanation of how they work. And then this is very important here, instant payment notification. If you're going to be using this wall of donors, the recognition wall, you have to have this. So at PayPal, there's a setting here called instant payment notifications. It's under your profile. 
and you have to turn it on right now this is turned off on this particular one you would turn this on and then you have to paste in a URL and the URL is right here just copy this and you would paste it into I can't actually do it here because this is just an image but you would paste it right into this URL box right here and save all of that on PayPal itself. And it tells you here, this could be necessary if you're having issues with instant payment notification, but that IPN has to be turned on, okay? Back over here, this first radio button here has to be turned on in order for the wall of recognition to work. Of course, you can still make donations without that, but you couldn't have the wall of recognition. So that completes the settings for Donate Plus, and then I'm going to take a look at how to actually implement it on your site.